Well, the very first day, I huddled them like a mother hen all around my desk. And from the moment that I pushed the button for the rocking bot to move, it was all you heard was oohs and ahs all over. So I had them hooked. That was my hook. Rockenbach fits perfectly into our design unit. We start with building bridges, futuristic cars, the running and planning of cities. The students that I may not have necessarily thought would be jumping in head first and loving it, they have just soared with the material. I give them learning styles inventory in the very beginning and in some classes, it's half the class that is way up there in that tactile uh, kinesthetic. So for them to be able to touch and move something and flourish, you know, in their specific learning style is to me by far the most awesome component. It gives them a piece of accomplishment and a strength that they maybe didn't know that they had themselves before we did that. It's even in the odds uh, and, it's, and it's allowing students to gain confidence. Well, I've had students to go, oh, that's how that works. The new uh, form of intelligence is going to be the ability to learn, unlearn, and relearn because technology is going to have such a, a short shelf life. I took pictures of the gear trains because it really was fun and at the same time, I just want to show it to people how a gear train works. I'm trying to use my imagination, okay? <laughs> and I can't make it fly, so I'll just use those tools. I think that having the students begin at such a young age and build upon those skills each year, it allows them the confidence that they need to continue to add new skills and new fluencies. If we actually built this all the way through and we strengthen our kids in, in these high yield activities from Rock and Bob, and our kids really start to approach STEM in the serious way, that when our kids are seniors and graduating from high school, that colleges will recruit our kids just like they recruit athletes.